Professionals around the globe work to get a handle on the coronavirus. One local professor is on call, knowing he could be deployed to a potential hotspot at any moment. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live on the campus of Southern Connecticut State University with that interview. Matt? Well, Dennis, this professor of public health here at Southern has traveled the world responding to outbreaks of infectious diseases. And now the coronavirus, well, that could be next. It's a matter of where have I not, what continent have I not been in? As a consultant with the World Health Organization, Dr. John Wang Gu deployed to Africa for Ebola, spent time in Brazil for Zika, and in the Balkans for MERS, the Middle East Respiratory System. When an infectious disease of some sort hits them and they need help or they don't understand it or they don't can get it, then that's where I come in. And now the professor at Southern Connecticut State University is on call 24-7 with the possibility he might have to pack his bags and respond if a country requests help for the coronavirus. Currently, I'm working on the uh, COVID-19, uh, but of course, uh, not out in the field, but, you know, here. Um, and I'm constantly analyzing what's going on. That's important because if he gets the call, he'll have six hours to pack and put a team together. Once on site, they provide technical expertise and support. One of the first things we establish is the distribution. In other words, what kind of people are getting the disease? Because then that gives us some guidance towards the second phase, which is establishing the etiology, meaning what's causing it? Where is it coming from? Eventually coming up with a plan to help that country control the disease. As for right here in the U.S., Wangu says leaders need to stay on top of it. For us, we need to have a rapid uh, early detection of those who are infected and be able to isolate them from the healthy. Now, Dr. Wangu says the key to controlling the spread of a disease like the coronavirus is, again, isolating those that are sick from those that are healthy. And he says steps must be taken to protect health care providers because he says those are the folks that are at the most risk because they're the ones that are dealing with those who are sick. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.